All right, how's it going, everyone? We are on our way to the snowplow sites. We've got a new case coming to be demoed, and they're going to be picking up the new Holland. Uh, it looks like we're going to be getting snow tomorrow and Saturday, tomorrow night and Saturday, kind of. It's Thursday now. So they're dropping off the loader now. We're meeting them there, and they're going to pick up our loader, bring it in for an inspection, um, kind of look it over. There's some hydraulic issues with it, uh, with the final drives not being like aligned properly or something. Uh, anyways, so we're going to give the new case a little test run and demo, and hopefully we'll get some snow tomorrow, and we'll be able to test it out then. So we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit when we get there. Look at how close the wheels are. You're not going to put tracks on it. No. Those tires are I think, yeah, I think those tires are way big. I think so. Stan, they did exactly what you wanted. They got bigger tires on the things now. They listen to you. Plug it. Set her down. Hey, which one's which? All right guys, so at this point we got the machine kind of put away, stowed away, and we are gonna wait for it to snow, which right now it is snowing. So tonight we're gonna be putting in probably at least eight hours, if not more, of snow plowing with that new case you guys just saw. And then tomorrow or sometime tonight, we're gonna do a little bit of a review on it and give you what we think about it and what we feel about it. If we're gonna decide on purchasing this machine or if we're gonna keep demoing some other machines, etc. So stay tuned for that. It is 4 o'clock in the afternoon and we are headed out. We got about 2 to 3 inches on the ground. Um, still snowing, but it's not snowing much at all, so we're going to head out. Alright, just throwing some fuel in it. Got the hubs locked. Testing the lights out, everything. Now we got to fill out report. How many of you guys got to fill these things out, huh? They suck. Alright, check out the size of this snow pile. That is going to be there forever. Someone had pointed that out to me in one of the other videos and I mentioned to him, I said, well, look at everywhere else is full of snow already. We can't put any more snow there. Got an electrical box there. This one, there's pretty much no room and an electrical box over there. That one's got an electrical box in it. Same with that one. So we are pretty much strapped for places to put the snow so putting it there is kind of our only option for right now but 
we just got on site probably at 4.30, half an hour ago. Got this section just about done. So we are just gonna begin wind rowing it up and cleaning it up. I got everything back right here and just about ready to go. This is pretty much an ideal snowstorm though. We got two, three inches at most and uh, all happened during the day, five o'clock now. We've got most of this site done, or this section of this site. We got a couple other cul-de-sacs for this site. Um, real easy to push, light, fluffy, not wet. Uh, not too light where it just blows everywhere and um, makes a bunch of dust and powder. So we're looking pretty good so far. So we're gonna keep cleaning up here and uh, we'll get back to you guys in a little bit. All right, we just got got all these sites done here. Pushing some piles back. Figured to just get out, check over the truck. Like to pick some snow off. After the snow is built up. It's always good to walk around the truck, check everything a couple of times. And the route of uh, and the amount of time you're out plowing. At least I think so. So we are gonna now head over to where Colton's at with the new case and we're gonna check out what he's doing, how he's doing. I forgot my light that goes on top of the camera this time. Shoot. That beeper's annoying. Anyone know how to unplug that? Let me know in the comments below if how to unplug it. We looked for it a little bit the other day. We saw like the ground you had to undo. I wonder if there's just a fuse or something you can pull out. Backup lights go on when he backs up. simple that is with the cage. Don't have to back drag anything. Just get up as close as you can with it. Good to go. it's cold I'm going back to the truck <laughs> all right so we just got done or I just got done here uh, Colton's gonna finish the rest of this up with the skid loader and I'm gonna head over to one of the other parking lots we do and get started on that everything's going really well this time um, I guess those of you who plow know you just got one of those times when you really get in the grind and it's just it's going good so that's how this is going this time uh, like I said before we got two three inches of snow so it's just easy easy pushing um, especially with that new skid loader making it a lot easier for Colt and I'm sure he's loving that that's a lot better so everything's going really good so far nothing's broke um, really nothing's broke all year except for that spring bolt um, the first go around which was a simple fix so 
We're gonna head over there and we'll check back in with you guys over there. Because I don't like filming and driving. All right, so of course, as soon as I say nothing's going wrong, everything's going good, everything's going real well, snow's easy to push. The hubs on this start making noise, um, kind of like a clunking noise. So we're here doing the lot and started to notice the clunking noise. So we are gonna head back, get to 2017 that Colton drives and we are gonna finish it out with that. And then Colton's just gonna end up driving this back once he's done with the loader. All right, so those of you not familiar with Ford pickup trucks, um, they have lockouts on the hubs. That means you have to, to get the four wheel drive to engage, I guess what, 100%, you have to spin that. I don't know if you can read that. One way it says lock, one way it says auto. Lock the hubs and that's how you get it. Fully engaged in the four wheel drive. So, by my judgment, um, those lockouts are bad on the 07 F350. So, I will now commence plowing. with the 2017. All right guys, so we're out here at the other lot. We got the 2017 out plowing. This is the first time I've plowed with this truck and this is actually the first time I've plowed with a new boss plow with this new design from the old one. And I can tell you right now, this is a huge improvement older the old boss plows like you see on the 60 liter that I'm usually plowing with. Look how much I can take here in this wind row. I've got the blade, look at that. Usually with that old plow, I can only take about half the blade because it'll start to wind roll over and push off to the other side. Here, I can take this much of the blade. That's almost three quarters, maybe a little bit more, and I can get a lot more done with the same size blade. So what I'm saying is the design they have on this blade is a much better design than the older blades because it can take a lot more snow in one pass without having a bunch of trails or whatever peeling off to the side uh, like you see the six liter do a lot of times and I gotta go back and clean up the crumbs. So these new boss plows, I know this is probably old news but I've never plowed with one before so shout out to anyone that hasn't plowed with one of these. These are definitely worth it if you're plowing big lots like this where you gotta make a bunch of passes back and forth. This is actually blowing my mind right now. Like this is such a better plow than the old design and definitely something you guys should look into uh, if you're looking at getting a new plow or looking to buy your first plow, something like that. If you're doing big lots, open lots like this one, this thing is a beast. Also, this truck's doing really well. Uh, it's doing a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, it does. It's got Wrangler, it's got Goodyear Wrangler tires on it. Just standard Wranglers, I guess, I don't know. I don't think there's anything special about those, but really good tires. We don't have any weight in the back, so I'm actually pretty impressed with this truck right now. It's doing a great job, uh, even though it does have the 6.2 gas. Uh, the one thing I do notice very different about this is when I go from reverse to put it into drive, it won't just, I can, in the six liter, I can just leave it at idle and it'll just idle along and start going. But when I go to reverse to drive in this, it won't go anywhere. It could even roll backwards if I'm on a bit of a hill. And I actually have to give it some gas to get it to move forward. I guess that's just the torque of the uh, diesel engines. So, wow. Definitely impressed with this new truck and these newer plows, so. I know that's old news for a lot of people. These plows have been around for quite a while now, I wanna say, I don't know, since 2012 maybe, but <laughs> I'm impressed. So this is way better, way better.